There is nothing as powerful as a reinforcement of your personal potential, declaring your ability in the face of your challenges and obstacles. Hi, I'm Obeli Ewanfo, the author of the storytelling series for small businesses and content creators. In Obehi podcast, we talk about the power of your story, your narrative, and why you should own your voice. Whether you are a small business owner, a content entrepreneur, or you simply want to build your influence, storytelling is probably going to be your best instrument to connect with your audience. So join the awakened few who are owning their voices. Now let's get started with today's episode. This short read is from the book, Crisis of Identity, How to Reinforce Your Personal Identity in Seven Days, and it's available on Amazon if you want to get a copy for yourself and read along. The subtopic within the chapter is the question of self, who am I? I remember my adolescent days in Urumi, my hometown in Nigeria, where the inevitable fight was about to break out, perhaps between two boys who were rivalry, you might see one of them literally beat his hand on his chest and say something like, Do you know me? Do you know who am I? Sometimes, this was nothing more than a clever trick intended to scare one opponent off. Maybe the one who have boasted and asked the question, they don't have the power to beat his challenger, and decided to use such a tactic, hoping it will work. In most cases, it works. The moral of the story is this, there is nothing as powerful as a reinforcement of your personal potential, declaring your ability in the face of your challenges and obstacles. You might not have much, but by standing tall on your feet, your obstacle will naturally appear smaller in your face. You must do this if you intend to hold your position. The question now becomes, What if you are not sure of your identity or your ability to confront your deficit? What if you were once sure of who you are, your identity, but something tragic happened throughout your life to weaken those beliefs? Or worse still, what if people have made you believe that you are nobody and unable to achieve anything of value in your life? At this point, the question of self, who you are and what you stand for may be difficult for you to explain. Do not worry, you have simply hit a point of reset. It is not the end of the road for you. In fact, for some, it is the beginning of a real adventure in their lives, the point after which they begin to live their authentic lives. We will deal with this later in the book. But if I could tease you a bit now, then it is this. If you are no longer sure about who you are, whatever the reason, there are three steps to take. Assess where you are right now concerning your current self-image and identity. How you see yourself and others see you. Seek understanding by thinking back to where you came from, your history and your past experiences before moving on to the third and final step. Accept where you are and your identity as it currently stands or recreate it to reflect your true self. Now, think back to Erison's story. There was a time in his life when he was no longer sure of his identity and who he was. Remember that he's just like you and me or anyone else at the same stage in our lives. What did Erison do? He assessed his state of confusion and deeply immersed himself in research, traveling across Europe, spoke to people and dug deeper into human experiences. What he discovered is now the basis for many other studies in human psychology. Who knows, maybe he would not have become the world famous psychologist he did. He might never have become the person cited across the world in argument regarding human developmental psychology if he hadn't had his identity crisis. So do not see what might have happened to you as the end of the road of your life. It is the beginning 
of discovering your true self. Note that your identity does not have to remain forever fixed. You can change what you do not like about yourself to give yourself a new beginning. If an incident happens to reveal your innermost part to you, do not run from it. Embrace it instead to make your own sense of it. End of the reading. Do you want to read the full story? Check out the book page on my website, obehe14.com. The book and all my books are available on Amazon, so you can order your copy from there. Have a good reading and remember to share your thoughts and inspiration about the book. Please subscribe so you never miss any of our future episodes. Rate and review Overhead Podcast and share with your friends who might need it. Thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you in the next episode.